All right, so today is a special episode on Japan Treasure Hunters. It's our 100th episode. Yep. It's Halloween and the season finale. Halloween? Yes. Trick or treat. No, I gave you candy in the car. I already ate it. Trick uh, or treat. One house, one candy. You know, that's the way it goes. Fine. So Robert's here dressed as Indy for his Halloween costume. Indy? Yeah. Just don't call me Junior. Okay. Junior. <clears throat> hey. So yes, uh, if you remember back to the beginning of this season, our whole theme is on the path to forgotten history. So yep. today, uh, as we're on our way to our site, we're stopping by and doing a little sightseeing. Our first stop here is, uh, goes back 1500 years, fifth century AD, to uh, the Yayoi period. And we've got a grave mound. It's uh, 500 or so of these in Japan, of this older style. And uh, so you're saying we're gonna, what? You're saying we're going to go check it out? Is we're going to go check it out. You ready to go inside a grave for Halloween? Because yep. it's open. It's open. We yep. can go in and there's, yep. there's no restrictions. We're just not going to detect in there. Just right. sightseeing. Yep, just sightseeing today. So, yeah, I'll, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been known to take the wrong one on many occasions. Japan contains forgotten history. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the path to find it. On the season finale of Japan Treasure Hunters, the team visits a Kofun and Quarry in Yabazuka, Japan. Asps, very dangerous. You go first. Here's your light. My light. Just don't look directly into the light. Well, it's really tight up to here. I went in the last cave. And you can actually stand up in here. Oh, okay. It does open up? Yeah. Can't see you. Yeah. It's all right. I'll break out the iPhone and... What the hell is that? <laughs> wow. All right. Now I have to go in and see. Oh, this is tight. This is tighter than the last cave I went into. See that one? What the hell? That's a daddy cricket. This this is Indiana Jones theme. All right. But yeah, the number of bugs curling around on the walls in here—it's very Temple of Doom. So, uh, yeah. So this is what the tomb looks like on the inside. Not really too much going on. It's really small, actually. So. Over here, you can see some of these big bugs. It looks like a cricket, but they're huge. They're everywhere in here. I used to see a lot of these when I lived up in Nisiko. End of the summer, they'd start coming in for as it gets Winter. colder, I'm trying to find shelter. Yeah. Check up, check up yeah. over here too in the cracks. Those oh are, man, they're all over up in there. Get up over in here. See all those uh, huge. I've never seen crickets that big. Total Temple of Doom view here. Right? Wow, this is amazing. But yeah, I mean, historically, looking back at the, the level of stonework and um, really early, the way they're fitting the stones here, you know, yeah. it's not that tight fit where it's been carved into this, into this uh, configuration, but this is like found stone, yeah. a lot of it. Oh, somebody put a golf ball in here. <laughs> this is a hell of a shot. You get bitten? No, 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 no. No, found a golf ball. Oh, actually, I got something down in the car that would be great to use as we're coming out of this. Tech wrench up giant spiders. Oh. <laughs> Them crickets were like yeah, this freaking like, big. I could be like, Robert, give me your whip. Did you want to go in, Josh? No. 
You sure? I'm good. I could hear a bit. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm it was, yeah, it's warm. Yeah, yeah. It's, actually, it is quite warm. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, the mound's getting a lot of sun, and I mean, it's insulated quite well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 1,500 years. That's amazing. Really. All right. You ready to go to the next spot? Yeah. Let's, let's go to the next spot. Now we can go do what we do. <laughs> let's go treasure hunt. No. Oh, hey. One end right on the surface. So we got a surface dweller. Surface dweller. It's a good start. It is. All right. I ain't going near it. Me neither. Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Breaking character, though, well, that. Oh, and there's a Fukage there, too. Little lizard column. Oh, I like his tail. Look at his tail. Yeah, he's got that nice blue. This, uh, this actually is an Aodaisho. It's a Japanese rat snake, non poisonous, fairly docile. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is literally unbelievable. And, and didn't Jeff say this is where they dug out with like hand? Yeah, actually up there you can see the hand striations where they, where they sliced. This is amazing. All done by hand, no tools. Yeah, well, tools, but hand tools, not. Yeah. Uh, huh. Well, Get John up. found the quicksand. Yeah. Well, there's a place up there. It looks like it, it wraps around up into the top over there. Yeah. Wow. Whew, it's a little wet. Uh, it's, completely, <laughs> it's completely wet going back down in there, too. You know, it was raining a lot yesterday, but unbelievable. Okay, so how did they write up there? That is a great question. So, so the one kanji there is uh, yuki, which is power, strength, and then the evening for evening. Yeah. You know, when they shoot the TV shows and stuff here, that might be where they're saying, okay, let's put a light right here, let's put a light right here. Okay. I said a lot of this, probably, there's probably a lot of old scaffolding here that would have been here that that's, yeah. Not well, actually, yeah. there is some old yeah, scaffolding right there still. Oh, I mean, like, built up like a last work, like oh. all the way up the side. Yeah. Oh, this is a big, I big quarry. Really big quarry. Uh, There's little sections of it. I'm not even sure. It's also pretty, pretty shallow, so should be right. Dang it, Junk, stop doing that to me. <laughs> Get my hopes up. Next time. Next time. Oh. Uh, I think somebody was playing cricket up here. I thought I'd check out down through here, but the trail itself goes down those steps down that way. Oh, hits the steps? No. Uh, oh, over there? there? There was a set of steps back over there. Yeah, there's no step. Well, yeah, but then it's like, where does this trail go? Up that way. Yeah. It goes and up. It sort of steps down that way, which leads down into that. Yeah. Got a good little 80 tone here. Sweet. Okay. Nice. It's a tool. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like one for that you're going to use for. A protractor, right? Thank you, yeah. Nice. Architecture. Yeah, I don't think it's too old. It's got plastic on it. But... Which yeah. kind John? Yeah, it looks like we got a bullet shell. Mm. Nice, nice. It's cool. a good start for the day. Let's see what else we can find around here. You want to correct yourself on the protractor? Yeah, so Earlier, it's not a protractor, it's a compass. So don't give him any, any bad stuff. 
yeah. corrected himself. Yeah, it's corrected. No, no remarks. <laughs> there, there will be. No comments. <laughs> I think it's deep, so that's why I'm not getting a good solid right here. Right in this area. Okay, all right. Another coin. Look at that, another 10 yen. I found three 10 yens in this little spot. At least they look like 10 yens. They may be older. I can't really tell what they are right now because they're so dirty. But I feel it's a 10 yen. I found three in this little spot. Nice. What'd I do with that in here? Oh, it's a little pendant. I'll get you the color. There you go. Pendant. Somebody lost their heart and their money here. <laughs> it wasn't as good as Robert's strokes. The adventures with friends and the memories that are made, that is the real treasure that will last a lifetime. So if you enjoy the journey, then detect that like, pinpoint that share, and dig that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time in Season 4, The Quest for Japan's Hidden Gems.